Well, Deadwood's wild parties of today have history to the town's beginnings. And joining us on Good Morning Coda Territory is New York Times best-selling author, known for her writing on the women of the Old West, Chris Enns. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Now, you are going real quick. We should probably say it's also Wild Bill Days in Deadwood, and this is why you're here. It is. You're making a visit here. So you have a book with us, An Open Secret. It's one of your latest books, correct? It is the, the latest book, and it's about... Um, the notorious bordellos in Deadwood, which is appropriate that yes. we be talking about this book during Wild Bill Days. Of course, yeah. Now, there Deadwood has a tour, I guess you can do, of one of a brothel. Um, they do. The, and this kind of, I guess, is good. You can almost read the book and see it in person, what your book is almost talking about. You highlight quite a few of the madams as well. Um, I guess, do you want to talk about some of the most... I guess, notorious of Deadwood of its time. Yes, I mean, I, I think it'd be fun to be able to talk about uh, Dor Dufresne. Dor Dufresne was one of the most popular uh, madams in the Deadwood area, and Dufresne came from England, and by the 1870s, mid 18, late 1870s, she is in that particular profession. Uh, she um, has, a, has a place here in Rapid City, and then she gets married, and it's such a lucrative business. Her mm -hmm. husband says, let's have a place here in Rapid City and in Deadwood. So they open two houses, and uh, she's a very popular lady, and um, in 1903 has a very famous woman that comes and is a cook for her, and it's Calamity Jane. Wow. So this runs all together, and they're business people. This is a business for them, so they think very business-minded as well, especially opening Two spots in Rapid City and one in Deadwood. Two spots in Rapid City, and you know these particular these these ladies of the trade are soiled doves, as we call them. These soiled doves are very smart because they followed the gold rush. Mm -hmm. They followed wherever there was any kind of prospecting. They would go. They were camp followers, and a lot of these women made more money than any of the people actually prospecting for gold. Definitely. Uh, they knew exactly um, the business that they were, the clientele that they were uh, they, appealing to. And they almost had it down to a science. Now, you uh, wrote this book in partnership with Deadwood History Incorporated, which actually, I that was one of my summer jobs, was working at the museums in Deadwood. So I found out there, it was very surprising to learn that um, this trade was in Deadwood until... 1980. Yeah, 103 years of, um, of prostitution. That's a fun thing to talk about on Friday morning. Yeah, yeah, 103 definitely. years of prostitution, yes. But it, it, it um, was a mainstay in the town, and, and people didn't want it to really go away because it attracted a lot of visitors. And the, the, the money that the women made at their houses, especially early on, early on when Deadwood was just getting around, that particular money was used to, to build schools and the libraries Definitely. and, and um, you know, a lot of those Of course, no, real quick, Chris, Chris, excuse me, Chris, you'll be in Deadwood today and tomorrow, correct? That is absolutely awesome. correct. I will today, f at, from, from noon until one, I will be at the Cultural Center. It was gonna be at the Adams Museum on the lawn, but because of the rain, it's yep. now inside, but still, it's gonna be a great it time. Will be. And then Saturday, I'll be at the brothel. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us this morning, Chris. We'll have all of those details and some pictures as well on our website later. We'll see you right after the break.